Okay, Money Monster with George Clooney. It starts off kind of lame and sickening. It's like watching a. Um, it's like sitting down to watch a movie and you end up watching a televised event where they're selling products. It's that boring at the beginning. But then it picks up speed. Afterwards, the movie picks up speed as this guy breaks in. He's got what appears to be an explosive vest. He makes George Clooney wear it. He has another one. He threatens to blow it up if he's not given the ability to be heard. And as he speaks, he talks about being ripped off by this investment company that the George Clooney character had advertised on his show and told everybody to invest in. And apparently all the money was lost because, as the company was pointing out, there was some type of glitch in the the uh, computer and it lost $80 million of investment money, or $80 billion or something like that. It just disappeared. Nobody knows where it went. In reality, the owner of the company had taken it, stolen it, invested, tried to bribe somebody in South Africa to set up... Um, um, a major strike on a, on a, I believe it was a diamond mining company, but the uh, strike boss wouldn't, couldn't be bribed. He was a pure socialist, only looking out for his own guys, and so the strike ended. And instead of uh, the diamond prices going up because of the shortage, they actually either leveled off or went down a bit. And the $84 million investment that this guy had stolen to make the price go up was completely lost. And it's about dealing with that and dealing with the boss and, uh, you know, the George Clooney character trying to keep himself from being shot by the police and trying to keep this other guy alive at the same time. It does not work out well in the end. There's this real, it's really tragic in the end, but. But uh, as far as it goes, yeah, the, at the beginning this movie's kind of iffy, but it, then it begins to hold your attention and you sympathize with the, the uh, you will sympathize with the, um, the guy who lost his entire savings and the, and the big surprise here is his girlfriend's a complete bitch and tells him to kill himself anyway, and this girl, his pregnant girlfriend. So this guy really doesn't have anything left in life to live for, but uh, it turns out that the, the best wasn't real anyway. And But yeah, it does end quite tragically, and it is an interesting movie to watch. It's not, uh, they say it's connected to the what happened in the stock market in, in 2008 and the, the world situation, the housing market. I would say just partially so. This is more like uh, corporate corporations, head of corporations being psychopaths and stealing from the poor all the time, which is a, a constant disease that continues to, to happen all the time. I would recommend this as a good socialist um, sociology film to watch. This is eye-opening. It's sort of based upon truth. <laughs>